Hey guys, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Those of you who've been here already, um, some have, will notice a different view out the window because it's a different window. I have some exciting news to share with you guys. Um, really, really exciting news. Now this is done with help. Um, some very kind people are helping us to uh, make things move here. Let me rotate around here and show you the new home of our store that we are currently putting together. This is the new home of the Sorry Sorry Shop and our little consignment shop. Here, this is a 20 by 30, which is much, much, much bigger than the other place. And we got some furniture. Uh, don't worry, the pink fuzzies are going to come off. But we uh, got some furniture already. Um, Melanie likes the pink fuzzies. I'm like, no, uh-uh. <laughs> but there's a beginning. This will be the cafe area. And we're going to bring over a bistro table that we have already. We have two large windows. And the sign said Wi-Fi. And we're going to leave that right there. Because we might offer free Wi-Fi to our guests. We'll see how that works out. But we are right next to Subway Sandwiches now. And I do have the key and a contract. Everything is done. This is it. This is our new home for the Sorry Sorry Shop. We have our own parking spaces. Actually, the handicap parking is right in front of our door. So it can't be more convenient than that. And there's parking spaces all over in front of our shop. So we have our own parking spaces. And there's parking, parking spaces over there on the side and over all everywhere. It's a lot of parking. So um, it also has some beautiful display cabinets that we get to use. And I'm going to definitely use them. So that is included for our use. I got to measure where our desk is going to go because I built it already to fit the other shop. And this is a lot bigger. And then I have to move the kitchen thing back. The previous store in here was a sandwich shop and baker and had multiple hookups on the sewage, so I have to move that. I'm going to move the whole kitchen section over some. And then we'll have our coffee bar over here and uh, snacks, donuts and breakfast type things. And then our hangout for customers here to have their, their breakfast. And then we will have our double. We ha I measured out, we have room. I don't know if it looks big enough on camera. But we have room in here. Our consignment's gonna go along the wall. The consignment stuff that we already have. And we have room for two sets of shelves in here. And then the coffee bar. So we can really put a lot more groceries in here than we had before. It is gonna be huge. So we're gonna have to find a way to fill this space. So I've gotta figure out how to get some more shelves in here. Now the carpet is just for us in the back because my desk is going to go across. Michelle, she can hang out back behind there safely behind the gate. And that's the whole purpose of putting a wall across the whole back edge to protect her from not so nice people. Now if I have to, I can move this section back some. We don't need to be out. I'm six foot or some, uh, I don't know what I am out of the wall there, but we definitely don't need that much space. I'll push that back some and uh, I just need room for a chair back here so yeah definitely there's a lot more space back here but um, it's this is the new home of the Sari Sari shop in Gaylord Michigan so got a lot of work to do a lot but we're gonna we we've got the paperwork we've got the keys this is a done deal we are moving we are moving right now so and then there's a the traffic from subway sandwiches heavy traffic coming and going heavy 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 traffic and now there's people there was people coming and going I don't want to show them um, from here 
We can look down, see above the, the traffic, the shopping strip. There is the main foot area, the main pedest pedestrian strip right there, the main strip. So we can look out our door, people can see us from there. Now the camera makes it smaller than it is. I can clearly see the visitor center sign with my eyes. I can, to me, my eyes it looks about like that big. So the camera really makes it look farther away than it is. And the topmost banner out there on the billboard is ours. That is, that is extreme real estate right there. The best that you can get right here. So I think we're gonna do some good sales, guys. I think that uh, this is it. This is gonna make a difference. I don't really like the black, but there was supposed to be a shop in here that wanted black and then they didn't. And uh, so it's ours. This is it, guys. So I wanna thank those of you who are involved in making this all possible. And uh, we're gonna be moving. Well, I'm gonna get this uploaded to you guys and I've gotta get some measurement going on and get moving stuff. Cause we're not gonna play games. We're gonna be in here quick. Uh, by the way, it just fits hand in hand that we have our own store. We are homesteaders. We're trying to become self-sufficient. We're trying to become off the grid on our, on our property. Um, well, we are mostly off the grid, but we are occasionally still using the furnace right now. This year is horrible, horrible. So we're occasionally still using the furnace and that is on the grid. So that's why I would say we're trying to become fully off the grid. Anyway, uh, we're trying to become fully self-sufficient and that means having your own source of income. Well, guess what guys? We provide our own work. We provide our own jobs. How cool is that? All right, well, I'm gonna get this uploaded to y'all. It's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I hope you guys are excited as we are. Talk to y'all later.